Hi people, this is a tutorial for Godot. So you can click and move a character. We have a basic level here. Uh, we only have the lights and it's a 3D level. So right now we need a static mesh for the floor. Let's put this floor. I'm going to use a plane for this. Let's put a plane. Let's say 20 by 20, like that. Then also we need a camera, that's going to be our player in this case. And the camera we're going to move it like here and rotate it down so we can see. Yeah, so you can see the scene. We also need a character body 3D. Oops. A character body 3D. That's going to be our character that's going to be moving with the click. We need a mesh instance that's going to be the mesh and a collision mesh 3 I'm sorry, collision shape 3D. So for the mesh, we're going to select the capsule and the for the collision shape, we're also going to select the capsule here. Let's move this up like that and we have the player. For the floor, we need uh, to create a static mesh so we can have colliders there. And also, we need a uh, navigation region 3D. Have to move the floor inside the navigation region 3D. And here we have to select new navigation mesh. Have to bake the navigation and there's going to be the path that's going to be allowed the, the character to move. And if we run this scene, uh, let me save this as level. We're going to have all set up for the character. Yep. So right now there's no interaction and we have to program that. In the camera 3D, we're going to put a right cast 3D so we can select the target position for the character. For that, we're going to create a new script here in the camera 3D. And we are going to create some variables. We're going to create a mouse position variable that's going to be a vector 2 and uh, selecting the, the right cast 3D with the left control we're going to drag this so we can have the on ready variable and we can call this uh, for the target so first the mouse position is going to be uh, we're going to call get viewport dot get mouse position so we can have the click here and then from the right cast 3D, we're going to cast the target position is going to be equals. There's a function in the camera 3D that is called get right cast from normal. Normal, yeah. Project local ray normal. I'm going to multiply this for 100. That's going to be the ray length. And we have to pass the mass position here. So we can have the right cast there. Then we're going to force the up, the right cast update like that, and we're going to print the right cast 3D dot get collider, so we can uh, see if this works. Okay, so I'm in the sky. This down here saying object null, if I put on the floor, it's going to say static body 3D, that's going to be the collision of the floor. And if I put over the character, it's going to be character body 3D, that's going to be the collider from the from the character. Nice. So, uh, we want this to function with a click, so let me uh, put an input map here, that's going to be called click. I want to... And we'll, we're going to put the left mouse button here, like that, and put an if statement here, if input is action, just press click, we're going to do all of this, like that. And also, we're going to put a validation here, if right cast 3D is colliding, we're going to print colliding like that let's see 
So if I click on the sky, there's nothing here. If I click on the floor, there's going to be the colliding, okay? So we want to detect only the floor so we can move the character there. So we're going to put a group here in the static body 3D. In groups, it's going to be floor. We put this on the on the collision shape because this is going to be recognized by the right cast and we don't have to put a get parent so we can put uh, if we put the group on the floor okay we have that and we're going to put an and here floor in right cast 3d dot get collider dot get groups uh, get groups like that and right now if i click here in the sky uh, there's nothing here if i click the character it's going to be nothing here but if i click the floor as you can see it's going to be colliding with the floor nice then we need to get the location that is colliding so the character can move there so for that you can print well we're going to print the right cast reading uh, we're going to put point get collision point yeah it's a function with a method here for uh, for the right cast and if we print this we're going to get a vector tree as you can see down here and the y is okay because it's zero and we're going to get the location that is going to be send it to the charger so we're going to pass we're going to go to the character body 3d right now we also need a script so let's put the script here uh, let's hit create and we are going to erase all these things because we don't need everything <laughs> yes, we don't need anything we only need the move and slide and the speed okay so for the character body 3d we also need a navigation agent you have to be this and with the navigation agent we are going to call it here in the script so we're going to con left control and drag it to the scene then we're going to move the we're going to move the, the player so for the navigation agent 3d we're going to put target position is going to be equals a vector oops vector print vector 3 is going to be let's say 5 0 0 then we're going to get the direction that's going to be a vector 3 also so let me call create a variable here direction is going to be a vector 3 like that uh, equals a uh, navigation agent 3d dot get next path yeah get next path position we have to uh, subtract the global position here like this and finally we need the velocity velocity is going to be equals uh, my direction dot normalize uh, times the, the speed like that so we have an error here i oh, know that is okay that's okay so for test, we're going to use a well. We're going to use a, a vector here. So if we if we run this, yeah, the character is moving there. So we're going to try to move that with the click that we're going to use with the right cast. So for that, let me create another variable here that's going to be next position like that. It's going to be a vector tree. We're going to replace this variable here. Oops, I'm sorry about that. We're going to replace this variable here so we can call the position. And we're going to create a function that's going to be a move charger. <laughs> Something like that. Character. With click. Yeah. And for this function, we're going to pass a uh, vector tree so let's put position point vector tree like this and my next position is going to be equals position like this 
then we're going to call this function from the camera 3d so we go here let me copy this name uh -huh. so we want to call this but first we need to get a reference for the character body 3d so we can do this uh, in different ways but we're going to call with a text board so <laughs> in this video so it can be easy so we put here export bar character uh, it's going to be a character body 3d like this and here in the level if i select the camera in inspector we are going to have oops we're going to have where is this export bar character body 3d ah we have an error here let me let me comment this okay let me go back okay yeah we're going to have here a, a slot so we can select the character body 3d so we select this and then with the character we're going to call oops, the function that was uh, that we created in the other script and here we're going to pass the disposition so let me create another variable here so it's going to be easier to understand position position is going to be vector 3 equals this right cast 3d my collision point okay let me remove the print and pass the position in the function so right now if we execute the game the character is not going to move if we click on the sky it's not going to move if we click on the character it's not going to move but if we click on the floor the character is going to move and uh, that's all for this tutorial uh, thank you very much for watching